But getting back to this game that I never left. When you, you know, uh, invite that boyfriend and girlfriend spirit, you know, and some of y'all, you know, it started in the beginning. The way you start is the way that you end. Okay. And as you look at my thumbnail, you'll see that, you know what I mean? Fake pimps be like interviewing the. If you look at that, he's having sex with the bra. Okay. And some of you come in the door with you. Now, let me tell you, you know, the benefits and consequences of that. Like I said, you know, some individuals, when they first came into the game, I'm not speaking really about the chippers because there was a lot of young pimps that was chippers when they first started. And some of y'all like chippers, but a chipper is a stone age dinosaur vocabulary word in the game. So when a mother say that that chipping, that means that he's having sex with a woman who's not his hoe. So he could be a pimp. And he got hoes, but he's he met a girl at the club, and he f***ed on her, and she's not no hoe. You know what I mean? He's a, he's chipping, as the old pimps would say. He chipping. He doing some chipping, okay? And pretty much it's a great percentage. I'm not going to say all, but it's a great percentage of, you know, pimps in the game that when they first started, they was doing some chipping. You know what I mean? Because you would meet a woman. And you give her the opportunity to know you as a man because if she liked you as a man, then pretty much once she got to know you as a man and liked you as a man, she ended up basically conforming to the lifestyle that you had to introduce her to, which is this game. And for those that's not subscribed to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell. Make sure you hit the like button as well. Um, but when you are you know, a chipper, yes, I will say that there are certain women you are not going to reach them until you get inside of them, okay? Now, watch where I'm going with this. There are certain broads that, you know what I mean, uh, they, they just seem as if they have a better, as I used to have everybody laughing like, yeah, you know what I mean, we got a little understanding. You know, uh, they get more of an understanding once you got physical, physically acquainted, you know what I mean, with her, okay? So a lot of young peas was meeting bras at the club, bus stop, bus station, greyhounds, airports, malls, pretty much anywhere. And, you know, when you're young and active and full of energy and you don't really have the information at that time, and you know what I mean, you just using what you know, and you just basically going with the flow. Yes. You know what I mean? Uh, a lot of motherfuckers, even myself, you know what I mean? Has done some chipping. You know what I mean? I definitely, anybody that listened to me, I kept it all the way 100 with you. Yes, in the beginning, I definitely did some chipping. I didn't, at that time, in June of 2007, I didn't know what I know now in December in 2018. Okay? So, you know, um, the benefits of that, you know, uh, a woman might not like the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing, and she might say, you know, I would never do this and never do that. And you introduce yourself as a man and allow her to, you know what I mean, have a mental safari with your mind, and you introduce her to how beautiful, you know what I mean, your mind is, and she ends up liking on your person, liking on you as a man. Her liking you as a man is more important than the lifestyle that you're involved in. Because if she really likes you the way that she professes to like you, then that means that she'll get involved in your lifestyle and be willing to evolve in your lifestyle as well, simply because she likes the man that you are. Okay? And, you know, a lot of times mental, emotional, and physical safaris transpire before uh, basically the actual pivot and horn, you know what I mean, took place as far as actions and transactions, you know, is concerned. But the consequences of that is by you coming in the door with your dick, okay? You came in 
having sex with her. You came in being affectionate with her. She didn't have to do anything to earn that. You gave it to her as freely and easy as the heir of God. So due to the fact that you gave her that dick or you gave her your tongue and you was licking the back of her knees or you was licking the crack of her ass or you was sitting over there putting them legs in the back of her head, no matter how you did it, when you did what you did, I want you to know that you didn't make her earn it. So anything great, and your dick just might be great, your tongue might be great, the freaky things that you did might be great, but by you releasing something that's so great without a sacrifice in order to obtain it, it won't be appreciated. Things that are made common as free and easy it won't be appreciated. This go out to the ladies too. To the squares too. Even the squares. You could get a little bit of this too. Yeah, as, as Tiger say, you can get a taste. You know what I mean? Check it out. If you giving up your pussy, if you giving up that good head, you know what I mean? If you letting him uh, rub on that nice little soft ass that you got and you just met him and he didn't have to do anything, pay anything, sacrifice anything to have your everything the temple of God you know what I mean because all you women you're the artwork of God that's why no woman should feel happy that a man is giving her money you know what I mean for her body why because this is the temple of God this is the artwork of God you know what I mean and whenever you bless him with the artwork of God, even if he gave you a billion dollars, that's not equivalent to what you just gave him. So he's not doing you a favor. You're blessing him. No woman should ever feel like a trick is doing her a favor. Why? Because you're always giving him your presence, the presence of a hoe. Is more than anything that a trick has to offer. You're blessing him. The mentality of a hoe is you're blessing him. He's not blessing you. Now let me go outside of the lifestyle of pimping and hoeing and just talk to the women in general. The body, your body is to be cherished. Your body is to be valued. Your body is to be respected woman, white woman, black woman, Jewish woman, Puerto Rican woman, you know, men of all nations, your body is to be respected. But when you give something up so easy and make it so common, a person ain't going to feel obligated to make you feel appreciated because of how easy it was. So getting back to the fellas, by you using your and your tongue to knock girls at the club or knock a you know what I mean on the bus stop or the airport or the mall or whatever I'm here to tell you that when you gave up what you gave up no matter how good it was you still gave it up without a sacrifice and great things things of value sacrifice is the cost in order to have it. When you go into that store. If you want some food. Guess what you got to do. You got to make a sacrifice. The vehicle that you drive. What did you do to get it? You had to make a sacrifice. The clothes on your back. How did you put them clothes on? You had to make a sacrifice. How are your bills paid? How you got a roof over your head? How do utilities keep getting paid? You had to make a sacrifice. Sacrifices have to be made in order for you to even be able to live life comfortably. Currency is a necessity. So for you, young man, that profess to be a pimp, the embodiment of greatness, the embodiment of information, the embodiment of energy, the embodiment of enlightenment, the embodiment of encouragement, the embodiment of empowerment for women. Pimping is all of that. You're professing to be that. 
and to give up the beauty, you know what I mean, of yourself without a sacrifice, it's not going to be respected. And she don't feel obligated to make you feel appreciated because you gave that up without a sacrifice. And to make things worse, you got into a continuity of giving up not only your body, but your time, your information, your inspiration without a sacrifice. Some of you talk to broads for months without receiving money that you're endeavoring to have. I ain't talking about some squares. You know, it's good to have conversations and no different squares because when a hoe or some hoes go to jail, you can send that square down to that motherfucker uh, office and she can sit up there and sign and get the motherfucking hoes out. So I'm not telling you to not have communication with squares, but you better watch that shit. You know what I mean? Because the time of a pimp, the conversation of a pimp, you understand me, is costly. Your information is the best definition of valuable. But each and every time that you get into a situation or a conversation and you don't make it profitable, you devalue the game by doing so. Each and every time that you keep talking to somebody that you know that this is not going to, the outcome is not going to be no income, you devalue in this game, young man. Each and every time that you sit up there and fuck on a bitch and she done told you that she ain't going to be your hoe and you keep on tasting her and you keep on sitting over there doing anything and everything with her and she ain't gave you nothing, you devalue in yourself, young man. Especially if you call yourself professing to be a pimp. You are devaluing yourself and you are devaluing the game that you profess that's within you. You're devaluing yourself. And even if she rolls with that and she sits up there and loses on it because, you know, I ain't going to use the word choose. But you know what I mean? If she sit up there and lose up on that bullshit that you're talking, that bullshit that you're doing, guess what? Eventually, guess what? You're going to end up creating a monster. Because now you created a monster. How many of you have been with a bitch that it ain't even attractive no more? She just grab on it. You know what I mean? You're not even thinking about sex. She just grabs on it. She just like, she just constantly begs for it. She constantly begs you to fuck her. Every time she got a cool, decent little trap, she just, ooh, 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 ooh. Some of you ain't going through that now, but you know what I mean? You done did some things in times past that made provisions for them type of broads. Every time you look over your shoulder, she asking for some dick. Every time, you understand me, you sit up there, you understand me, and you texting her. She saying, yeah, and you know, uh, right now, I got a little bit, <laughs> you know, I got a little bit of $800. If I catch three more dates and come in, is you going to fuck me? And some of you felt like you had to entertain it because you created it to be that way. So she felt comfortable talking to you like you were a prostitute as if you were selling her dick because you created that type of atmosphere. She had that level of comfortability was sitting over there, you understand me, talking about it. She bring you enough currency because she have some dick because you made it comfortable for her to talk to you that way. You know what I mean? That's what happened. You made it comfortable, you know what I mean, for that to happen. You made it comfortable for that to happen. And let me make that known. Pimps are not boyfriends, and neither are pimps prostitutes either. You got to watch how you, you, you talk. Oh, man, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? The bitch ain't sit up there, you know what I mean? Sit up there, man, touch on my you know what I mean? Until she, she gave me 10 of them things, man. Yeah, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, bitch had to give me 10,000 first, man. Bitch had to give me 15,000 first, man. You know what I mean? Before she seen my... <laughs> you know? And these think they saying some slick, out of this world shit when you pretty much just admitted that you had a ten and $15,000 date with this prostitute. What you're saying is you're a male prostitute that just sold some dick for ten and fifteen thousand. Now, if you want to brag about being a high-priced prostitute, you can do that. 
You know what I mean? But as far as being a pimp, we don't even talk like that. The correct way to speak, if you're talking to a pimp and you're giving him confirmation, you know what I mean, that the came in with the right accumulation and things like that, you know, I understand that. You can say, you know what I mean, yeah, uh, B couldn't see me until she had my feet. Yeah, B couldn't even come around me. I hope you guys live as long as you want and never want as long as you live, man. Y'all be blessed now.